Alright guys, so welcome to episode 2 of our podcast. We, Well right now, I just wanted to say that we recorded this episode like about 40 minutes of talking and then after like 40 minutes in, I kind of realized that I wasn't recording so we're starting this over and, <laughs> <laughs> and these two guys right here are not too happy right now. I think Alex, <laughs> Alex had an appointment with some girl that he has to cancel now and well Jerry, Jerry was just not happy but here we are <laughs> so this is episode two and we decided to go with the name gaijin, gaijin smash gaijin smash podcast um jerry came up with that brilliant idea um alex accepted it and i approved it so we're going with gaijin smash yep, episode yep. two welcome and since we pretty much already did this podcast um <laughs> but it <laughs> but it doesn't exist now um a lot of things did happen in the original episode two, aka the Lost Files. Um, <laughs> secrets were revealed. Uh, people were crying. Um, there was arguments. A lot, a lot of crazy shit went down. And, yeah. and well, you guys don't get those files anymore. So here we are, starting from the beginning. <laughs> I am Kiko, and I'm going to be one of your hosts. I'm Jerry, and me three, Alex. Alex, <laughs> same shit. <laughs> so here we are. So we're going to start off um with part one which is um bringing some new japanese words to the podcast and kind of teaching you guys um new japanese words and then it will be followed by part two which is kind of like uh, telling you guys about some recent japanese news or japanese anime or drama anything japanese related that we're gonna you know kind of inform you about and then part three segment three is gonna be whatever we want to talk about so for the Japanese words, if you guys want to bring a new word or if you guys want to use the word that we already used, um, that's cool. Whatever is fine. Um, we'll start off with Jerry uh -huh. since Alex uh, proved himself to be the biggest bitch. He started off the last one. So Jerry's going to start off this one. So Jerry, which All right, word? you're going to do me like that. I see. I see. <laughs> yes. So Jerry, which word do you want to bring the, to the table? All right. So, so the word I picked is naisho mm -hmm. and it means it means secret now there might be some people out there that's like wait a minute himitsu is secret and that's true too that's also correct um the only difference i see between them is naisho is a noun himitsu is an adjective boom so naisho and secret not half <laughs> Alright, so Naisho <laughs> and Himitsu both mean secret. Um, but like Jerry said, one is a noun, one is an adjective. And we kind of established that both of them are interchangeable. So you could pretty much use either word in pretty much any situation, right? Yeah, basically, I would say. Alright. I mean, yeah. Alright, so that's Naisho. And Himitsu. And me, I'm used to saying Himitsu. So, Alex, your turn. Which word do you want to bring to the table? <laughs> um, I have an option to think about it, but in the same time, would you like to use the same basic one? Well, you can use the same one, dude. Uh, I don't want to waste time, so I guess I u I'll use the basic one, which is Nani. Nani. Which literally means what? There you go, what? It's pretty simple. I think everybody and their moms should know that word. Dude, if you go up to your mom, whoever's listening, and you're like, hey, mom, do you know what nani means? She'll be like, yeah, bitch, it means what? You know, everybody should know that, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Especially everyone saying nani the fuck, nani the fuck, what the fuck. Yeah, so you can say nani the or fuck, yo. Maybe you already know that word because of the meme uh, from that anime. Omae wa mou shinderu. Nani. 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 <laughs> Nani. What? Nani. <laughs> and then the, the, that shitty sound uh, came up like. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I told you guys about that meme where it says, like, um, Arya killing the Nike. And Arya's like, Oh my, wa mo shinderu. And then the Nike, Nani. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, spoiler alert. If you uh, see. <laughs> Episode 3 of. Uh, Game of Thrones. Dude, if, if you guys haven't seen Game of Thrones up until this point, then either you're not going to watch it or, like, what are you doing, man? Like, it's kind of hard to stay off the internet um, free of spoilers if you haven't seen Game of Thrones because it's all over the internet. 
Yep. All right. So my word, the word that I brought, and I'm going to say it again. We all said it again. Um, <laughs> we're all using the same words. The one I brought was a uh, demo, which means but, B-U-T, and kedo, which means however. Um, I kind of said that when we first started learning Japanese, we learned about demo, like saying, you know, but, um, something, 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 but. But when we watch like Japanese anime and drama, a lot of people say kedo, you know, it'd be like des kedo or whatever. And I don't really hear people saying but. Even in Japan, like talking with friends, I never really heard anyone say demo. It was always kedo, you know. So, so yeah, I guess that's some information for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's move on to the next part. Yeah, we're we're going through this. We're going through this, guys. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Alex. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Next. All right, yeah. next, next, moving on, guys, moving on. Mm -hmm. We don't got all day. So, um, Alex, I don't know if you want to bring up the same movie you brought up last time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but in the same time, I have no idea. All right. All right, so, so I guess you could uh, bring it up because, I mean, I already asked Alex. I'm like, Alex, is there any like new Japanese movies or anime or drama or news you want to bring to us? He's like, yeah, that new Aladdin movie. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, like the same shitty joke I've been making, you know? Do you, do you watch anime? Yeah, sure. I watch I I watch the the hell of that shit. It's like uh, I watch Corn in the House. <laughs> <laughs> Corn in the House. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about Aladdin? I, mean, I guess. Yeah, cause, <laughs> uh, like real talk though. Um, I guess you already figure out that I'm not the the biggest fan of anime and uh, Japanese dramas and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm not hating on them. I just don't really search, like, surf through the through the whole net, like, looking for something new from that sphere. But to be honest, uh, I actually been watching now, uh, when we're talking about that, I actually been watching One Punch Man. One Punch Man is good. Yeah, I mean, it's not something, like, special. I'm pretty sure that uh, many people know about that. But uh, just recently I saw, I think, uh, Season 2, Episode episode 7. Oh, I haven't seen Season 2, man, so no spoilers, please. So, uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm not going to talk about uh, what's going on there, but, yeah, I'm I'm there. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, we're talking Wait, about what's, the what's the last thing you saw, Kiko? Dude, I just saw the final episode of season one. Dude, I haven't seen season two at all. Well, what's what's going on in the final episode of season one? Yeah, yeah he, it's been... he, he was fighting like that that freaking alien, and they were like kicking each other's ass all over the like the planet, and they're going crazy. And he's like, "Oh shit, I'm actually having fun." And then he was like, "All right, serious punch." And then he just killed the guy. <laughs> 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 we're like, okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was that was good shit. All right, so so One Punch Man, huh? Um, so when so Alex is bringing up One Punch Man, but when we brought up Aladdin, um, I was telling Alex <laughs> that <laughs> so I was telling Alex that Aladdin came out this week, this past week here in the states, but in Japan isn't it isn't gonna come out until next month, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean at the at the very earliest, I yeah. think it's gonna be next month. And one thing about like Japan is, um, I, I, I'm just repeating myself, but um, when I went to the movies, or when you go to the movies in Japan, and when I went, um, the movies and the movie theaters in Japan have Japanese movies, of course. But when you go to watch like an American movie, um, you have two options. You could either watch the American movie with like the original audio, the English voices, and Japanese subtitles, or you can watch the the movie with um, Japanese audio, so the voices are going to be in Japanese. And when I went, I always watched the original audio, original English audio with Japanese subtitles so I can understand the movie and enjoy it. So it's pretty nice. Like if you go with the date, uh, if you invite a girl to go see a movie, um, you know, you could watch the movie, understand it in English, and she'll understand it with the Japanese subtitles. So it works out. So you're literally implying that if you're going to go on a date in Japan, there's going to be a Japanese girl. Yeah, Kiko, what are you trying to say? Dude, I'm saying, I'm saying, if you go to Japan, 
there is a good chance you're gonna meet Japanese girls. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, okay, that's one. But uh, Jerry, Jerry, help me out. Let's give him shit. <laughs> I mean, we're obviously not talking from experience. I, I you know, <laughs> we're saying it happens, but it does not to us. Yeah, we're saying it happens, but not to us. Like, right. like, like, we're saying, like, if you go to, like, let's say Europe or Africa, like, the chances of you running into a Japanese girl, like, <laughs> in, like, Africa is, I don't know, man, that's, that's kind of low, uh, kind of low chances right there. I mean, if you go, if you'll go for vol- volunteers or some sort of uh, organizations like that, yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, anyway, um, so, Jerry. Well, anyways, um, yeah. So, Jerry, do you want to talk about that uh, show that I recommended? Uh, so, it's called... Um, okay, the, ah, erased. <laughs> it's called Erased. I, I want to try to remember the Japanese name right now. Uh, but, yeah, uh, what? It was something like Boku Take Kono... I don't know, Koro Machi Gai Nai, I don't know what it is. Boku, uh, boku Dake Gai Nai Machi. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, um, so, uh, actually, that's the show where I got, um, where I learned Nai Show from. So, um, I think it's a pretty good show, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's about this dude who... He's able to go back in time and fix uh, mistakes that were made in the past. And yeah, you go. You, you know more about it than I do. <laughs> Dude, that was an excellent plot summary. <laughs> no, so so I recommended this show to Jerry, and pretty much there's this guy who could travel back in time by like segments, like ten minutes or whatever, and he can't control it. Like it's just like this time. Traveling powers like just throws him back in time out of nowhere, so he can't control it. And pretty much he knows that when he gets thrown back in time, there's like like a big thing that happened, like a big accident or something bad, and he has to fix it. And yeah, so pretty much he says like, yeah, I only go back like five minutes. The furthest I gone was like ten minutes, twenty minutes, but then out of nowhere he gets thrown back like thirty years. And yeah, I'm not gonna say no more. It's just a good show. I would recommend it. Um, nine out of ten. And Jerry, um, when, after you watched the series um, Erased, how did you feel? Empty. No, 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 no I'm just kidding. I actually felt. No, no, I felt like it, yeah, it was too short. I would have liked a little bit more, but it was satisfying. And dude, when we, when we were recording this episode at first, you're like, dude, I was crying. I had to like get some tissues. I, I went under my bed and couldn't stop crying. I, I, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there, there, uh, yeah, I did it during the show. Yeah, I did. That's all, I did. all but more. That's all the more <laughs> details than I probably would like to know. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, because because when I asked him, I'm like, how do you feel? Empty. But then last time I asked him, I'm like, how, do you, how did you feel? He's like, I was crying like a little bitch, yo. <laughs> 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 Well, we could have kept that file if somebody was recording. Dude, hey, you know. <laughs> Dude, a, lot, a lot of crazy shit went down, but we were telling you, like, sorry you guys can't listen to that original audio, but uh, yeah, things are going mean, down. On the positive side, on the positive side, though, uh, there's a lot of dumb shit been dropped, too, so uh, I guess it's not all bad. Yeah. A lot of dumb shit, man. Like, I don't know, Alex, Alex was saying something like how I don't know. He said he went to a party and he went back with some girl. And when he woke up, it was a guy. Then he was like, "Fuck, I shouldn't have said that." But we're like, we're, we're staying in the audio, man. It's staying in the okay, podcast. Okay, let's not joke like that. <laughs> uh, I thought, I thought uh, I mean, you're laughing, but uh, um, no, I'm just my messing girl, around. Yeah, my girl actually could be listening to this. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, no. I'm just joking. That was a joke. I'm just making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, it usually goes farther than that. Yeah. Anyways. So the show that I wanted to bring to you guys is uh, it's called... Uh, well, first I wanted to say that um, the show that Jerry brought up, Erased, that's on Netflix. It's only like 12 episodes. Um, I would recommend it. You could watch it like in one day. I watched it in one day. Jerry watched it in one day. So it's binge-worthy. Yeah. Um, the one I wanted to bring up is called Switched. 
and pretty much it's about uh, the, the two girls one girl is like an outcast loser um the other girl is like the popular everybody wants to talk to her type of girl and the outcast girl she pretty much finds out that she can switch bodies with someone but she has to commit suicide first and if it's successful um when she commits suicide she has to think about the other person and if it's successful um they'll both wake up in each other's bodies but no one dies even though she committed suicide technically so she wakes up in the other girl's body um the hot girl and then the hot girl wakes up in the ugly girl's body and damn dude okay (laughs) i don't know i don't know what else to say man like they purposely made her look like not attractive you know um so then um the hot girl and the outcast girl's body has to like convince everybody that like hey i'm not a loser like i'm your friend whatever you know um what was that (laughs) (laughs) alex what the heck (laughs) are you watching porno alex (laughs) Come on, Alex, during the podcast. Come on, dude. GTO for mofos. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, so Alex and Jerry were giving me shit saying, like, oh, that's like a typical story, you know, like they find their happiness, switch back, right? But I was it's saying. Right. Sounds like a little, uh, God damn it. Sounds like an all right story. Yeah, but I was saying, it's like. It's not about uh, the story, which is a little bit different, but uh, it's more. Sounds like the whole uh, body switch idea. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds a little bit used up, but yeah, that's that's the only complaint. Yeah, but I was saying like um, they can't like in this show they can't switch back. Like if one of the girls tries to commit suicide and switch back to their original body, um, you can only do it once. So if they do that, they'll just end up dying, and mm-hmm. the other girl will just be stuck in the other girl's body. I hope that kind of makes sense. Like I kind of, I feel like I was kind of all over the place with that. <laughs> okay. I mean, no, no. Yeah, it makes sense. Cool. Yeah. At least right. uh, now we have an idea. All right, cool. So if you guys want to watch it, it's called Switched. Um, that's more like a 7, 8 out of 10 type of show. Um, it's also only like 10 episodes, 12 episodes. But I definitely recommend Erased, which is the time traveling one. And that one's like 12 episodes, both on Netflix. Boom. All right, so before we move on, what were our words? Jerry. Nice show. Which means? Secret. What else? Nani. Which means? What? All right. And demo, which means? But. <laughs> BT. Big volumptious, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that thick butt, and I cannot lie. I'm saying, "Hi, man, this bitch." Um, <laughs> Hell yep. yeah, Hell <laughs> yeah. So, Alex, we were talking about your job and how you're still in the process of giving your supervisor cabeza, aka head, aka uh, <laughs> um, atama. Is that is that? I heard that yeah, yeah. do that. Uh, I was hearing. Sorry, I was hearing that that Alex was saying that he's probably gonna get a promotion because he's been sucking the right dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the the only way to make your way up in the company is to suck the right dicks. You don't want to be sucking the wrong dicks, or you're just <laughs> you're just sucking dick at that <laughs> point. I mean, yeah. As much as much if you as much as you would like to think about corporate corpor- like corporation policies like that, it's unfortunately it's not that simple. <laughs> First of all, you have to build up a courage to suck a dick. <laughs> 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 uh, my, my, my God, I can't even keep the straight face. Um, nah, like long story short, basically, uh, yeah, I'm I'm two months in, and I'm still learning about this job. Uh, I'm not sure if I would like to keep pushing that shit in the future, but for now, <laughs> nah. But for now, you got two handfuls and a mouthful. <laughs> what? <laughs> So Alex, uh, what what do you do exactly? Like, tell us what your job entails. Uh, let's keep it short. I'm just working in a reservation office of uh, one of the Japanese resorts. So if you if you want to like to chill in a five star hotel, I'm not gonna tell you the name right now. But uh, yeah, there's a possibility you're gonna like I'm I'm gonna put the, input the whole information for your uh, reservation. So you can hook it up, is what is that what you're saying? 
Um, a funny thing uh, that you said that actually yes, but it's not going to be totally for free. It's going to be just uh, the staff discount in my case, and I'm going to just put you as a members of my family. How, how much of a discount do you get? Um, since it's a five star hotel and also it is a resort, uh, we have dy dynamic rates. So uh, in the winter, it's gonna go crazy, like uh, up to four and five hundred bucks per month. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. For one stay, for one night. Okay. Depending yeah, on, yeah, depending on the room size uh, and the suit type. But like um, we have seventy percent, sometimes seventy, sometimes uh, fifty percent discount on that stuff as a staff member. So it doesn't it doesn't matter uh, when exactly. If uh, we'll do it properly, it's going to be fifty percent off at least. Hmm, that's 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 pretty decent, I guess. That's a pretty good price. Yeah, but then same time, would you like to go to the fucking mountains, even if it's a fucking <laughs> five star mm -hmm. hotel? Dude, if it's five star, dude, I, I might have to consider it. Dude. Yeah, I well, like, I don't, I'd rather not pay for a hotel, man. I'd rather just like if I have an apartment. That's, I'd rather that's just exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Would you like to pay for that? It's still gonna be several hundred bucks if you're gonna stay there longer than one night. Yeah. In case if you if you're curious about that, I can lend you some prices. <laughs> just just to look up what you're dealing with, hypothetically. Yeah, and for everybody out there, we are Alex's family. Like we're related. We have the same um, dad. <laughs> yeah. C C C. So Alex is allowed to give us a discount. La familia Pimiero. <laughs> yeah. And you know, um, you know, I was saying like you know, cabeza head. Yeah. Um, in Jap Japanese, can you say like a tama? Or oh, I get to kudasai. Nah, that's gonna be different. Uh, in Japanese language, uh, it's yeah, it's different slang. Like uh, g giving a head is a uh, pretty much English language systemized like form of saying that. Mm. Like giving a head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't so work. So it doesn't work that way. Okay. Yeah, you can you can change the wording, but it's gonna be the same system of the wording, like all uh, like all the phrase, right? In English. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah, uh, yeah just <laughs> I mean, I don't use that when I went to Japan, man. I used good Japanese, man. I learned good Japanese. I went to school every day, you know. <laughs> yeah, how come when I, how come when I was in the states with you, motherfuckers, I learned only bad words in Spanish. Atama <laughs> sutte I actually don't know. This. I actually don't know if that makes sense. I don't, I, I don't know what Jerry said, so... You say that to your girlfriend, Jerry, and she'll be like, <laughs> sucking on the cheek or something like that. <laughs> she doesn't uh, know why, but she's doing that. <laughs> I, was, I thought that's what Kiko was trying to say. I was like, I get, I get that? Nah, I'd be like... Sitte kure. Sitte kure. <laughs> Damn. You, see, you guys should not be teaching people bad Japanese words, man. You guys are, you guys are bad influences right now, man. <laughs> we're, 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 it's called gaijin smash, man. We're gaijin smashing the language right now. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. pause on that, though, but uh, yeah. It's called smash. Yeah. Gaijin yeah. smash. No. You, you didn't call it the gaijin pass. <laughs> yes, but every time we like, uh, okay, it's a little bit of origin behind the name. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. my time in Japan, every time we fucked up or did something we didn't know, we broke a social rule. For example, when they're pouring drinks and you don't wait for everyone to say kanpai, you just take a sip. You freaking gaijin smashed it, man. Because you're supposed to wait for everyone to say kanpai, but no, you just drank without waiting and now you look rude as fuck. So yeah, every time we made a mistake like that, we just say, ah, oh, you guys didn't smash it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys didn't smash essentially means, um, yeah, they have like cultural rules of ways of doing it. And if you don't do it their way, then you just, yeah, you're... You, could, you, you kind of look rude. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah so now you can guess how much of educational system we have on this podcast yeah. since it's called gaijin smash <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's also it's also a way like of you could also take it to like your advantage um like using gaijin oh, yeah, smash. For sure. 
So, so what Alex did, freaking Alex, um, when you're walking down, to, <laughs> that was a, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. What's, uh, what's, no, so, what's so funny? So when me and Alex would walk uh, downtown Sapporo, like you would always see like these no smoking on the streets signs everywhere. Like <laughs> everywhere, no smoking on the streets, no smoking on the streets. Alex over here lights up. <sighs> I'm like, Alex, no smoking in the streets. He's like, no, where every time like cops come up to me, I'll be like, me no speaky Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been literally saying in Japanese something like, uh, I don't eat in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, like I don't eat in Japanese. And, and the police, like since this freaking Alex right here doesn't understand Japanese, they'll leave him alone, you know, like they'll be like, oh, this, this, this fucker doesn't understand what we're saying, so we're just going to leave him alone. And then Alex, yeah, Pakagaiji. And Alex will proceed to smoke. And I'm like, this is <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, just just an update. I'm not doing that anymore. Like, I mean, come on, let's be nicer. That's <laughs> yeah. If it redeems somehow at the very, I don't know at the very bit, my mm-hmm. behavior. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, Dude, I'm just. I'm. I'm mm-hmm. not doing that. Dude, he's just covering himself, man. He still does it, but like, if he like gets arrested in Japan, goes to the courthouse, and they're like, Alex, have you broken any laws? No, I haven't, sir. Well, where on the street is you've been smoking on the street when you shouldn't be? No, sir, that that is not true. Well, according to this podcast, <laughs> 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 sir, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Edit that out. Edit that out. If, if you could, if you keep listen, if you keep listening, you'll clearly hear me say that. No, I don't do that shit no more. <laughs> yeah. God dang. You guys are crazy. God dang. Well, that's not technically that's not technically a law or something like that. It's not that heavy of a I don't know. How, how can I uh, how can I phrase that? It's not heavy of um I don't know, breaking the law type of they're, thing. They're not they're not very strict or they don't Yeah, it's more like a, a social rule, I guess. I mean, it's not the proper wording for that, but yeah, on yeah. the level of that phrasing. Yeah, it's like, don't do it, but people do it anyway, and the cops are like, well, well you know, you do you, boo-boo, you do you. There are not going to be any heavy, heavy consequences, except it's just cops coming up to you. Yeah. Well, occasionally trying to find you. Like, it's uh, about 1,000 yen. Yeah, but aren't the, like, like, aren't the cops, like, more strict, like, like, in Sapporo, they're not that strict. No, like it seems, but like, how about like in Tokyo or Saitama, Jerry? How are the cops over there? Uh, I'd say it's probably the same if they, like, if they try to tell you something and you and you play the gaijin card, they probably will leave you alone for the most part. But, you know, try not to break the rules, honestly. Yeah, it <laughs> don't, is. Don't, don't play the gaijin card. <laughs> but, uh, to be honest, sometimes it's, a. Uh, Pretty small in plain things uh, way coming up to you. For instance, uh, what I'm trying to say is, for instance, uh, let's say you're riding a bicycle, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And also, you would like to listen to music, right? Oh, while oh shit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Jerry is already know what I'm talking about. So yeah. there's nothing special about that. That's what I thought for literally several years uh, while we've been in Japan. But uh, one time, cops stopped me saw me and stopped me on the uh, uh, traffic lights while I've been waiting for the uh, for the green one and he literally came up to me and said like put out your like uh, headphones you cannot use your headphones while you're riding because I guess that's uh, one of the <clears throat> road rules even though uh, you just uh, riding a fucking bicycle it's still sort of a transportation div- uh, yeah, that is just there's just another mm. transportation um, vehicle for them, which yeah. has, uh, of course, which has way less restrictions than any other um, vehicle. But still, they do have the rules like that, and they can fine you even for that if they're gonna be if they decide to be an asshole. Yeah, I got pulled over for that same crap too, and well, it just goes to show. I mean, how much of a safe place i mean japan is if cops are watching for people wearing headphones while riding a bike i mean come on yeah but Crime rate. in the same time yeah in the same time it's kind of gives you an idea how much of an idiot could be some people who are riding even a s- simple thing as a bicycle because uh, 
I've been hit. I've been hit multiple times, and I saw that too. Yeah. No, but but yeah. No, Japan overall is really safe, and they don't have a lot of crime. So if you leave, well, I'm, well, I'm kind of surprised that like they did pull pull you guys over for bikes, but it seems like they're really strict yeah. on the bikes and stuff. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta get a license for the freaking. You gotta register the bike. No, no, not a license. You gotta register the bike. Yeah, but oh, the, it's a funny thing that you said that. Soon enough, uh, there's also gonna be a license for bike. Oh what? Uh huh. Yeah, so they're like strict on that stuff, but like when it comes to like smoking on the streets or like drinking on the streets, it's just like, eh, you know, you do you. Uh, so it's kind of like they're really strict on some things, but other things, it's kind of like, well, you know what? That's cool. Um. Yeah, but overall, Japan is really safe. Um, the crime rate is really low. Um, you could leave your bike, your TV, your iPod, your PlayStation, your Wii um, out in the middle of the street and leave it there all night. No one's going to touch it. They're only going to take it to the lost and found. And if you come back the next day and it's gone, go to the lost and found, man. It's going to be there. There's a there's a good chance yeah. it's going to be there. No one's going to steal it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Except, oh. ex, except at the airport. Don't do that crap at the airport. Yeah, this could be. That's a different zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah the airport. Good. The airport has foreigners, and you know you can't trust a lot of people. But but overall, Japan's good. Um, damn, what I was gonna say something. Uh, shit, shit, I forgot. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something related to this topic. Oh, um, one thing that surprised me in Japan. Um, so here in the states. One thing we that we get used to is like if we have like a party or something, you know, there's people over and it's like three in the morning and let's say like we have some girls over and one of the girls wants to go home at three in the morning. Normally a guy or a friend, a female friend would walk the girl home, you know, mm -hmm. and guys have no problem walking by themselves. But girls normally don't walk by themselves at night. Like, no matter what situation it is, like, you don't really see girls walking around by themselves, like, at 3, 4 in the morning, you know? That's normal for us. Like, it's, just, it's normal. But, like, in Japan, I saw that a few times, man, and I was surprised. Like, I'm kind of like, what is this girl doing walking around 2, 3 in the morning, you know? But that's pretty normal. Like, it's safe. Like, it's safe for them to do that. Yeah. Even little kids, yeah. Like, little kids walk to school by themselves when they're, like, six years old. So, I mean, it's pretty safe. Safe overall. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, so, Alex, when's the last time you went drinking? Yeah, there. What's up? Well, when's the last time you went to r r uh, the club? Riviera. Uh, Roll it one more time. When's the, last time uh, you went to, when's the last time you went to the club? Oh, shoot. Um, Was that I with me? Yes, the dude. Oh me? Uh, you, you're talking about uh, my vi uh, last visit to the club? I'm talking to you as I'm. I'm asking you like, when is the last time yeah, you've got been it, to it. the club? Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Um, probably like a couple months ago. Like uh, the thing is, uh, at, before I start to work at the reservation office. Yeah. Before that, uh, I w I've been working in a, a BNF like beverage and food uh, department. No, well, basically a waiter. Oh, so you were a little waitress, then, huh? Did you have like a little skimpy outfit? <laughs> yes, yes, you pervert. <laughs> you're wearing the skirt and shit. <laughs> you're wiping out the shit. Um, well, that that was a bad joke. <laughs> Anyways, Go ahead. like we we had uh, since uh, that was the season. Uh, it's a ski resort, so the winter is the season. So since that was the season, we had um, a lot of staff. Like there there being a lot of um, g like a lot of people from uh, mo like multiple countries communicating and having almost every single day a party yeah well otherwise it was uh, loud and fun and some shit yeah and of course eventually we matched up uh some of our uh day off and uh just went to the club in Sapporo. and uh, one of my uh french french friends he hooked up uh with a dj in, in a fucking king moo in the nightclub so he got us, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, VIP wait, passes. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so you guys went to Kinmu? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, hold up. You, yeah. went, you went to Kinmu, right? Yeah. And you said that one of your friends hooked up with the DJ? Or got the yeah. hookup? 
got the hookup, yeah. I think. We got the hookup got or the hooked up? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. What? All right, so your friend, one of your friends hooked up with the DJ, and in turn, they got the hookup. Yep. Okay, that works. <laughs> this, hold on, is this a female or male DJ? What are we talking here? Female DJ. I think uh, her what? name was Misa. Yeah, she she been going with uh, DJ Misa. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> she lied. Gotta go holler at Misa. Yeah. And also, she could speak English. Dang. Uh, yeah, not particularly a good one, but uh, it was pretty decent. Especially, um, you already know that uh, most of Japanese don't speak English. Nah, nah. For yeah. shit. Yeah. They, they, could not, they could not put it um, in a proper way a sentence to save their fucking life. <laughs> we're, we're saying that in the podcast. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you, you can edit it out. You can edit it out. Yeah, they, they, fine, they couldn't. Fine, yeah, they don't have decent English skills <laughs> on average. That's what I'm trying to say. Great to know Alex on the bo- podcast, dude. Yeah. But, but but it's also kind of understandable, dude. When you get put on the spot, it's really hard to like form sentences. Like, you, yeah. know, you know the shit, like, oh, I can write this, I can read this, I know the sentences in my head. But when you actually have to talk to, like, someone of the native tongue, mm-hmm. to your mind goes blank, man. Like, for me, man, I could form Japanese sentences, but if there's a Japanese person in front of me, I'll be like, uh, 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 no, uh, no, nani? <laughs> like, I don't know. Dude. Can't form sentences, <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's difficult, man. Like, it's scary. Dude, every time I speak Spanish now, I keep saying, so, 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 so. Like after so, I so, 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 yeah. So, 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 so. Yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, for people who don't know what that means, um, so, S O U, so, yeah, so, it means like, oh, that's right, that's right, right, you know. It's got, so saying. It's got that, a lot of meanings, honestly. Yeah, it has a lot of meanings, but essentially it's like. Um, just verb verbally, just like a verbal nodding your head type of thing i think I, is that so i kind of when i think about it i think it's kind of like um the english so so that is so that is not so but i think like japanese use it way more like they'll say like yeah that is so or that is right or no that is not so, so or is so, 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 so. yeah right, 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 yeah right, right. yeah like that's so so that's so that's so that's so is that so that is not so that was so, you know? <laughs> yeah, kind of makes sense. Actually. Yeah, yeah, but not in, literally the same thing, but uh, yeah, pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Like in English, we say, like, oh, is that so? Yeah, that was so. But in Japanese, they use it a lot, man. Like, like oh, so, like Jerry said, like, so, 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 like, that is so, that is so, that is so, 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 so. so. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. something like, yeah, that's right, right, right. Yeah, but it pretty much means, like, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's, yeah. So that's so. <laughs> that is so, baby. <laughs> but yeah, uh, actually, yeah. Back to back to a question about the club. Yeah, so that was uh, a couple months ago. I guess it was um, in uh, February. How was it? How was it? Was it pretty good? Yeah, the shit was lit. Nice man, man. I think like the first couple months when I was in Japan, man, I was like I was staying up all night, man. But like towards like my last few months of the study abroad, man. I, I, I couldn't stay up all night, man. I was, like, passing out at the club, dude. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not very healthy healthy way of spending your night, so uh, I'm not I'm not going to blame you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's not the best way to spend your night. Like, the club is cool, but in the end, I think, like, going to a bar is better. Or izakaya. Izakaya is the best, man. Yeah. Izakaya is the way to go. I mean, it depends uh, what you're trying to do on the night. Like, if you just want to have some mad fun with uh, not much of the communication, it's sort of like just a night of wild- wilding out. Yeah. Oh, uh, with your, like with your squad, then the club could be an option, a good option. But if you want to just chill and to have a good time with your squad, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Is that guy out? I have a story about the. No, no, I have a story. I don't know if I told you guys, but like. Um, I, I didn't go with you, Alex, but I went with like this other guy to the bar, uh-huh. and we met these two Japanese girls, and we kind of like started talking to them, and e- pretty much uh, we ended up 
failing, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's like a story I'm going to make for like one of my vlogs because I want to animate it. I'm not going to get into details, <laughs> but it was I think it was a pretty good story. Um, gotcha. Um, from what you guys hear of it right now, it's like not that exciting. <laughs> Jerry's, Jerry's, oh, type, yeah. Jerry's typing away right now. Yeah. He's trying to search for Is that a, okay? He's trying to search for a good porno video. <laughs> yeah. You gotta prepare for after the podcast is done. Yeah. I mean, it all makes sense, man. It all makes sense. I'm, I'm the same. I already, like, uh, my, my fucking pants at, the, at my ankles level. Fuck. <laughs> what? So, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm up on the browser's page. Hold up, hold up. So, uh, so uh, I think okay, the lubricant is next to me. So <laughs> I got of, my box of tissues. <laughs> what you saying, Kika? So both of you right now are sitting at your computers, dicks out with a video, a porn video already. No, 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 dicks out. Dicks out is it's too early for dicks out. Come on, man. You're it's not an amateur. <laughs> 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 Do that. <laughs> uh, these 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 people need some Jesus. Yeah, you guys, you guys, yeah, you guys need Jesus. Oh, you need Jesus. <laughs> Every day we stray. Wait, how does it go? Jerry? Every day we stray away further. Every day we stray farther from God. It's not Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Jesus, cabron. Jesus. Yay, my cousin's name Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up here in a bit. Um, before we do, I just had to bring up the. I already brought up the story, and I wanted to mention to you guys that um, <laughs> we already recorded this podcast, so we're kind of already at like out of energy, and it's just kind of like uh, we're doing this shit again. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, thanks to who? Yeah, thanks to me. I I, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, uh, okay. we, Jerry brought up a situation that happened to me in Japan, and. We talked about it for a little bit, and I'm going to bring it up again just because, I don't know, somewhat entertaining. So we were talking about our friend Shay, and Shay, if you're listening to us, what's up? Leave a comment. What's up? What's up? Let us know you're listening. So anyway, um, um, me and our friend Shay and this other friend, we were in Japan walking downtown, you know, doing our own thing. And Shay, she went to go talk to the friend and she accidentally, um, while she was walking by me, she brushed by me and she accidentally tapped my butt. And she looked kind of like, oh, my bad. Like, I'm sorry, dude. You know, like, I'm trying not to be awkward about it, you know, but it was kind of like, uh, you know. And the first thing I said that came out of my mouth was something along the lines of, Ah, fuck, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, damn it, Kika. Yeah. Dude, I don't remember the exact words. Um, Shay, if you do happen to be listening, please let me know what my exact words were. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was something like the likes that, like, so she tapped me, and she's like, oh, sorry. And then um, I'm like, um, ah, fuck. What did I say, Jerry? You have to remind me, dude. I'm, trying, I'm having trouble forming the words here. Uh, if you want to make me cry, you got to spank me harder than that. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah I, think, I think it was that, like. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, she, she brushed by me, accidentally tapped my butt. She's like, oh, sorry, you know, kind of awkward. And I'm like, Shay. I looked, I looked at her deep in the eyes. I'm like, Shay, if you want to make me cry, you're going to have to spank me harder than that. <laughs> Or some, something along the lines of that, and it was it was just a funny. That sit. definitely sounds like you, Mafia. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're doing, basically. <laughs> yeah, okay. it was just a funny situation overall, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, gotta keep the moments light and funny. You know, enjoy your life, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, going deep on this bitch. All right. Yeah, like, we gotta keep it deep. <laughs> well, anyway, um, let's wrap the let's wrap this up, guys. Um, <laughs> I know you guys gotta get to your porn videos. Yeah, don't act like you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, got, I got like a three-hour movie I downloaded, man. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, um, so anything... Yeah, we're milking that joke a little bit too long. Uh, dude, maybe it's long enough, man. Maybe it's long enough. <laughs> All right, so any, <laughs> any anything you guys want to say before you head out? Yeah. Pause on that. <laughs> Paused. How about you, Jerry? Anything, anything you want to say before we head out? Mm, like, I thought this podcast was meant to spread good things and teach people about Japanese, but man, we are, we are. Dude, 
We are here. We are, do we you are called guys? it. You called it Gaijin Smash. Dude, we're Gaijin Smash. Where were we at? Yeah. Well, first of all, yeah. Um, I came here to bring the good. Jay brought the name. Alex brought the bad. <laughs> <laughs> and because what? We, we, <laughs> okay, so hey, uh, Alex, you you are the first one that said I got my pants around my ankles already. Yeah. So, so what I was thinking. I'm following you, you joke, motherfucker. Wow, what are, uh, okay, let's make it my fault. Yeah. All right, so when I was thinking about making this podcast, I'm like, you know what? We're going to teach Japanese, maybe a little bit of Japanese culture. I want a nice, clean name. Um, I, was, I, I was thinking of like Conversate Jap- Japan or Japanese Gossip or like a daily dose of Japan, you know, and teach some Japanese words, you know, keep it fun and clean. And then Jerry's like, nah, bitch, we're going to make a nice, bad, dirty word for a name. Gaijin Smash. It means we, we're going to, um, fuck, uh, we're going to break, we're going to break all the rules. And Alex is like, hell yeah, um, pants by the, <laughs> by the ankles, dick out for our round break, <laughs> porn videos. Yeah, bitch. And I'm like, all right. Okay, so. those details are yours. <laughs> Dude, I didn't say that. <laughs> Of course, let's make let's make Jerry and Alex uh, <laughs> the, the fucking devils in this bitch. All right, yeah. Just because I'm talking like that, Kiko. <laughs> Just because I said that, Kiko, I didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 guys. No. Uh, when it comes down to it, we're gonna show you the good sides of Japan, the bad sides. We here, we down with yeah, the dirty, sure. we down with the good, we down with the everything, man. We don't mess around. We. <laughs> yep, open minded. Open minded, keep it open. Yeah, yeah. And we all. <laughs> Pause on that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but uh, yeah. yeah you all a, a bunch of perverts. <laughs> so that's. We'll conclude episode two. Um, appreciate you guys listening if you actually listened all the way because I feel like we get <laughs> off topic a lot, but I think it's all right. Yep. All right, so. Yeah, um, thanks we're, for listening. We're going to improve. Yeah, we'll, we'll improve. We'll, we'll improve as we go. This is only episode two, and we still got like a lot to work on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, you guys want to say peace out? Yep, have a good one. Peace. Matane. Peace, peace, peace. Oh, shit, dude, I wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs> La 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 la